Hey, Ken Moon from Moon Pie Creations. Let's talk about chucks. No, let's talk about turning chucks. You've heard the old adage, you can never have too many clamps. Well, I feel the same way about chucks. I use the Nova line of products for chucks. So this is the G3 right here. I have about six of these. This is a Supernova 2. I have uh, two of these. Now the G3 is normally for, for bowls that are gonna be 12 inches in diameter and less. And I use for larger bowls, I'm gonna use my, my uh, Super Nova 2. I get asked all the time, what chuck would you recommend for someone starting off in woodworking? Well, there's a lot of different chucks out there and if you're gonna ask a woodworker, you're gonna get just as many answers as you ask, okay? I prefer the Nova line of chucks. They're fairly cheap. They're very versatile. They have a lot of different uh, jaws that come come w that are available. I should say, not come with them. Normally, they come with the 50 millimeter uh, jaw set for the G, the G3. And I'm not sure if you buy the single one. I buy the the anniversary kits of these Supernovas, and they come with four jaw sets. This is a 100 millimeter jaw set right here, 50 millimeter, and that's the 70. And that's my standard setup for when I am turning. Before we go on, I want to talk about this little thing, this little insert right here. When you're buying a chuck, make sure it either fits your spindle uh, TPI or make sure you get the proper insert. This one requires an insert, it does not fit, but I have this Nova Supernova 2 right here that does fit my lathe, it's the right size, I don't need to get an insert. You may be asking, why do I have so many chucks? Well, I have them set up on stuff like these cold jaws right here. I have a dedicated chuck for that, uh, just so I don't have to take it off because it is a pain in the butt. Now they work a little bit differently. This one has a, a sort of a, a toothed, uh, not really sure what they're called. I mean, I'm sure that somebody can put down in the comment what these things are called, but this one has an internal working and it has what's called a pinion, which I like a little bit better. It comes with a handle and a little, uh, kind of like a hex wrench that goes into it and to tighten and loosen you just do it you just turn it either way and it pops back out it kind of secures as it goes in all right the G3 on the other hand has a handle in like this one this one's not as easy to use I, it hurts kind of hurts my thumb when I I crank it but you're just teeing it right here and I'll, I'll let you know <clears throat> if you're gonna have this permanently attached to here I ended up having to I ended up having to uh, cut my handle down because as you can see if you don't have a long extended handle uh, it, it would not work very well so all right so now that you've seen the chucks I uh, got a basic understanding of what I use and what I have uh, let's talk about the the jaws okay there's many 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 jaws here but I want to talk about the three I have on here these are the 50 millimeter that actually come with the G3 I threw them on here because these two chucks were full and I needed to uh, uh, turn a small bowl so I used them on here normally they are on this one on the G3 uh, so I have the 50 millimeter I also have the 70 millimeter in that that this kind of steps up as I go for uh, for when I do my tenon turning or or do my uh, my recess turning. Okay, so this is the setup I have. I usually have the hundred millimeter, the seventy millimeter, and I also usually have the fifty millimeter here. And to be honest, I think these are the only three jaws that I actually ever use. Uh, I've had other stuff on here every once in a while, but not very often. So. Uh, you may wonder what this box is underneath here. So let me go ahead and pop this open. I get these uh, these HDXs at uh, Home Depot. You get two of them for 10 bucks and I store all my stuff in them. My 
Okay, all my jaws. I got the uh, 130 millimeter jaws. These ones right here are also 50 millimeter, but they're very deep, um, very deep pocket, and they've got ribs on them. I have an extra pair of uh, 70 millimeter here. A couple more sets of uh, 50 millimeter, because that's what you get with every one. I also put my cutting tools in here. You can see I've got some some uh, ones that I buy online. You can buy a big pack of these for 25 bucks, and these are the square ones. I save all the extra screws for my turning tools. I also put extra screws in here to keep from uh, if I lose one off of my chuck. Right here I have extra worm screws, which are a, a good way to secure a piece onto your onto your chuck. Okay, some of my jaws are from my old lathe, which was a, a 1 inch 8 TPI. So I have a spindle reducer, which goes from 1 8 TPI to 1 and a quarter 8 TPI. So this will end up just screwing into here, like so. And then I'll put it on my lathe. Some of my face plates are the same way. I'm not going to sit there and get rid of a $30 uh, faceplate when I can buy a $30 spindle uh, reducer and still use these. I have uh, four or five of these. Now, the reason I have so many of these, I find them on sale and I'll buy them. I'll buy them used off of uh, eBay or, or anywhere I can. Right now, though, there is a sale going on for these Supernovas, $179. Uh, I think Woodcraft is doing it, so I'm going to end up buying another one of those. Uh, you can find these anywhere between $90 and $110 on eBay or, or on Amazon.com. Uh, they're meant to go with a recess or a tenon. So when you got a recess, you're going to shove it right in and just open it up and tighten that bad boy up. People ask me why I tend to go with the tenon, it's because with the smaller bowls, you can tend to crack them because they're thinner right here. And here's what it looks like when you have a small tenon. I got my tenon right there, and I put it in, and you can really crank this sucker down. And that's pretty secure right there. Okay, I glossed right over the coal jaws, but I want to go back to them. These are very versatile, okay? First off, you can make your own coal jaws. Just look at this video I got right here, okay? And go make your own, or go ahead and buy them. They're not that expensive, probably around $100. Uh, these are 10-inch coal jaws. They're Nova, and these are not the original bumpers. The original bumpers are round and they don't hold as well. Uh, I bought these aftermarket Nova ones. They're square and they're kind of wedged. And I've never had a bowl fly off yet. Yeah, they've popped out, but they've never flown off. Very easy to adjust right here. All you gotta do is unscrew the one screw and put it to where you want and then screw it back in, it's that simple. Yeah, it does take a little while when you're doing all of them, but this is a very versatile, I would highly suggest you do it. I would also buy a dedicated chuck because it's a pain in the butt taking them off and putting them back on. And let's say that you want something larger than this, they do have extenders for this that's extended out to 12 inches. So you can buy those, I'm not really sure how much they cost. I'll put them down in the direct or the, the description down below on Amazon if anybody's interested in, in purchasing any of this. I've got the links down on Amazon. So the question still remains, what chuck and jaw set would I recommend for a beginning wood turner? Well, this is my opinion, and you'll get just as many opinions as people have assholes. We know that. So, my opinion is, go out and find a G3, and it comes with the 50 millimeter jaws, and it also comes with the little handle, okay? But make sure when you buy it that you do make sure it's either matches your TPI or you get the insert for it. Very important. Okay, why do I recommend that? It's cheap. You can buy a couple of them. Like I said, you can find them on eBay or, or Amazon or anywhere for between 80 and 110 bucks. Okay, a used one will work just as good as, as an unused one. Okay, but with that, I highly recommend 
that you also purchase a cold jaw set, or you can make one. I'll put the uh, the link right here. Uh, I'll show you how to make them, okay? Um, with that, I highly suggest that you also, I forgot, to buy a 40 millimeter set and possibly a 100 millimeter set of jaws. Uh, you can buy those for about 45 bucks each. Um, so, that's it. That's what I recommend. I recommend the G3 Nova right here. Okay, uh, fantastic. I've used them for years and years and years. I love them. So, uh, what's next? <laughs> I'm going to turn the bowl. All right, you guys have a good one.